it's me, Lacey, again with Leaping Lizards Reptile Experience, and I promised you more with tortoises. So today, we have two of my favorite, most social, wonderful tortoises. We'll get to feed them, we'll learn more about tortoises, and we'll have a great time. So we took a big break from our YouTube videos because we had so many presentations to do for schools and events around town. So we're finally back to doing videos, and what I need to start with first is this word scramble from our king snake video. So we had a word scramble many, many moons ago from our king snake video. Our word that we're looking for though has nine letters. So the letters of our word are T, T, M, C, C, S, O, R, I. So that's nine letters. And your question is, what is the word that describes how a king snake kills its prey? The answer is constrict. Yes, king snakes are constrictors, so they constrict or squeeze their prey. So definitely go check out that video if you're interested in the king snakes. Today, look for eight letters, and I'll give you the clue at the end of this video. So today I have with me two of our red-footed tortoises, Ruby and Rosie. I also have some of their favorite snacks. I'll feed them in a little bit, but first I want to talk about tortoises. Now I get asked a lot if tortoises are turtles, and the answer is yes, tortoises are turtles. Tortoises are turtles that live on land. They're not now all turtles, including tortoises and sea turtles, originated in the Triassic period. That was the age of dinosaurs and was 250 million years ago. So the turtles and tortoises of today have great, 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 great grandparents who walked the earth with dinosaurs. So most turtles love a good soak. They love to sit in the water and soak. So we soak them a few times a week, but we also always have a water dish in their enclosure so that they can soak whenever they want. They get most of their water from the foods they eat, but a good soak can keep them healthy and stay hydrated. Fun fact, did you know that a tortoise does not actually have to drink water to absorb it in their bodies? They can actually suck up water through their behinds. So a tortoise sitting in water may actually somewhat be drinking it. So the top part of a tortoise's shell is called the carapace. The bottom is called the plastron. Now a red-footed tortoise's shell is nice and dome-shaped. It is dark in color, and it has these little light sections in each part of the scutes. Now the scutes are just each section of the shell. So a lot of people think that a tortoise can actually come out of their shell. They cannot come out of their shell. Ribs and backbone are fused to the bones in the tortoise's shell. So the inside of a tortoise looks something like this. This heavy armor, as it is, of bones and shell weigh the animal down, which is why tortoises are known for being so slow. Where do tortoises like the desert tortoise that lives out in the wild find water? They can't just come into your school in the middle of the day and get a drink from the drinking fountain. That's not how it works. So what they can do is they actually have been known to go out into the wild, dig a groove in the ground before a rain, wait for it to rain, and then go get the water they collected in those grooves they dug. After a nice drink of water, they wouldn't have to drink again for up to one whole year. So if they get some good water, they don't have to drink again for a year if they can't find it. Now the way they do that is because they have a special bladder where they can store water or urine, pee, and they can reuse it later if they need it to rehydrate. It's a very cool adaptation to help them survive in the wild. Because water is scarce in some places that tortoises live, it's important if you see a tortoise in the wild not to touch it. So when they get scared, what happens is they will pee. And if they pee all of that water out and can't find more water, they can dehydrate and die. So if you see a tortoise out in the wild, it's very important. You can look from a distance, you can admire them, you can take pictures of them, but please don't handle them, don't pick them up, because if you scare them and they lose that water, that can be a death sentence for a tortoise. 
So let's talk a little bit about Ruby and Rosie. So why are they called red-footed tortoises? They get their names from the red scales on the front of their legs. There is another tortoise called the yellow-footed tortoise that is closely related to the red-footed tortoises. And can you guess why they would be called the yellow-footed tortoises? Because their scales on the front are yellow. <laughs> So this species of tortoise can be found throughout South America, from Panama to Argentina, as well as several Caribbean islands. They have quite a range and can reside anywhere from dry and wet forests, savannas, and grasslands. They can get up to about 14 inches in length and live to be about 50 years old. So we believe that Ruby and Rosie are about seven years old. Um, they are a medium-sized tortoise and they have tons of personality and lots of energy. So red-footed tortoises are a fruit-eating species. So they like things like banana, kiwi, strawberries, mango. They also love their veggies like squash and carrots. And of course, lots of greens. Dandelion greens, mustard greens, kale escarole, all kinds of things that we grow. They are also omnivores, which means they eat fruit and greens, grasses and leaves, but also eat animal protein like mealworms. Superworms, slugs and beetles. It's time for our word scramble. Did you find all eight letters? Our question is, what is the name of the underneath or bottom part of a tortoise's shell? Good luck. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you want to be notified when we get new videos up, make sure to hit the subscribe button and like this video. We have so much more coming up soon. We have snakes and more tortoises, lizards, and we also have a bath and dinner time with one of our black and white Argentine tegus, which is really, really cool. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, we have all kinds of things coming up. Hope to see you soon. Thank